The MiG-29 was developed by the former Soviet Union as an air superiority fighter to counter the threat posed by Western aircraft such as the American F-16 Falcon and the French Mirage. The MiG-29, or Fulcrum as NATO called it, was first seen by the West in Finland in 1986 where it caused some real concerns for the NATO forces. This uh, aircraft which I arrived, it's a MiG-29er. A double seater. We use it for a multi role purpose. Air policing and uh, air superiority, of course, at home. Since 1994, I've been flying on a MiG 29er. And I, of course, I had opportunity to fly for the F 16, uh, F 16, uh, F 14, Hawk, uh, Gripen, and so on. But I enjoy and I like very much with 29er. It's a very good aircraft. It hasn't got any flyby wire. We say it's a flyer by muscles. The design of the MiG-29 was an aviation breakthrough, with the whole aircraft modeled on the aerodynamic profile of a wing, resulting in stunning maneuverability. The two Klimov RD-33 after-burning turbofan engines produce in excess of 19,000 pounds of thrust for a top speed of 1,520 miles per hour or Mach 2.3. And the stunning power-to-weight ratio enables a rate of climb of 65,000 feet per minute. Unveiled to Leonard Brezhnev in 1977 in a private viewing at the MiG factory, its speed and agility were immediately apparent. Its famed Cobra maneuver meant that the aircraft could almost stop dead in the air, adding a new dimension to dogfighting that Western aircraft simply couldn't match. The result was that the MiG-29 quickly acquired a reputation as the aircraft most feared by NATO pilots. And many of them were of the opinion that flying very low and very fast in the opposite direction was the best defense if you encountered a MiG-29. It's ironic that the fearsome MiG-29 is now, since the collapse of communism, serving as a NATO aircraft in the air forces of Germany and Hungary. Originally a conventionally controlled aircraft, the MiG-29 has continued to be upgraded, with numerous variants to ensure it is still a potent weapon. It now has fly-by-wire controls, and the new avionics and engine upgrades should see the MiG-29 continue to serve well into the next decade. The MiG has always had a fearsome weapon capability. Now boasts cannon and four weapon pylons on each wing with another hardpoint in the center. The latest MiG-29s are true multi-role fighters.